Hello, my name is Dr. Ayo. I am a medical doctor in the NHS in the UK. If this is your first time on my channel, this is Step by Step Club Explain, and this channel was created to help international medical graduates settle down into their jobs in the NHS in the UK. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly subscribe. This is ensure that you get notifications when we release new videos. So today, I'll be talking about a very important topic. And many times I've got questions from people about clinical attachments. That how do you get clinical attachments? How do you get clinical attachments? Now, getting into clinical attachment, many people want to get into clinical attachment because um, they want to practice in the UK and they just want to have an experience of what working in the UK is like. Some people want to get clinical attachment maybe they're students and they need to do rotations um externships and things like that so that could be another reason why some people um, want to get clinical attachment it's just part of their medical school curriculum and some people want to do clinical attachment um just to boost the chances of getting a job in the uk so whatever your reason for getting a clinical attachment is this video will help you get um, a clinical attachment so one thing you should understand that getting a clinical attachment is very very rigorous it's very very rigorous you need to put in a lot of work into it so in terms of clinical attachments you need to first decide which specialty do you want to get a clinical attachment in that is very very important then after that you need to do a google search so go a google search on clinical attachments in the NHS for doctors. So just look at the results because that will give you, that will point you in the right directions of hospitals that may be offering clinical attachment. Unfortunately, not all trust offer clinical attachment, but when you do a Google search, you are, it's going to give you some, some results and you'll be able to see which NHS trust may be offering clinical attachment. Another very useful tip is there is a Facebook group called IMG in the UK. So join the group and search clinical attachment. So the reason why I said that is because you will be able to see recent success story of people who got clinical attachment and some of them will mention the trust that they got it in. So when they mention the trust, that means you'll be able to know that that trust is currently offering people clinical attachment. And many people have documented their experiences about getting clinical attachments there. So, and some people have created lists of hospitals offering clinical attachments. So it just definitely helps you to streamline your application and know which hospitals, because there's no essence of sending applications to hospitals or trusts which are not offering clinical attachment. So if you search on the IMG Facebook groups, you'll be able to find success story of people who recently got clinical attachment and which hospitals they are currently doing the clinical attachment. After that, you need to go to the website of each of the hospitals and try and locate the bits that talks about clinical attachment. If you cannot, you can contact the medical education department or the HR of the hospital and ask about clinical attachment. Usually, the response from them will be to email a consultant that will be able to supervise you. Most hospitals will be able to provide a clinical attachment if you can find a consultant to supervise you. And how do you know which consultant to email? One of the best ways is to, some hospitals provide a list of consultants working in each department. So if you know which department you want to work in, go to the department and look at the list of consultants. You may be able to find their emails. Sometimes if the emails is not on the hospital website, if you type, the names of the consultant into Google or LinkedIn, you'll be able to find out their emails or their contacts on LinkedIn. And this may help you get in contact with them. But I think the most useful way to find consultant, the list of consultant working in a particular department in hospitals is if you have friends working in that hospital, they'll be able to get you their emails and be able to contact the consultant on your behalf or be able to speak, put in a word with a consultant on your behalf, which will be very useful for you. Or you can ask on the IMG Facebook group where you can ask that, please, if anyone working in this hospital, I need someone helping me to get the emails of consultants in this particular department, and they'll be able to help you. So when 
you get a consultant that is happy to supervise you for the duration either four weeks two weeks six weeks or eight weeks whatever the duration is then you can go back to the hr or the medical education department to arrange your your um your attachment period and when to commence and but you must be aware that you sh would do things you would have to um sort out other things by yourself such as your visas english test if needed some people may ask me request that you gmc registered so there are other things that may be involved but the basic process of getting a clinical attachment is what i've outlined so in summary for you to get a clinical attachment you need to find a hospital currently offering clinical attachment you need to find consultant that are ready to supervise you then you need to be able to sort out the other things other requirements of the hospital some of them offer it for free some of them say you you pay a little amount but i think it's better to go to hospitals that offer it for free so thank you very much for watching this video i think you should save this video because you may need it later you should save this video and send it to your friends who are still in the process of looking for jobs or who may need a clinical attachment or people who are coming to the uk to write to to write their plab exam soon they may need they may consider doing a clinical attachment after their plab 2 examination thank you very much once again for watching the video see you in my next video and if you're yet to see my video on how to get into training in the uk i think you should watch my video on how to get into training in the uk thank you very much bye